Good morning, folks. Today we've got a full slate of news, and our top story peaks at the confirmation of the destabilization character of Mars. But we are starting with our star at spaceweathernews.com, and we find the last day on the Sun with large coronal holes and the bright active regions. The bright active region on the south released an M-class solar flare this morning. It was impulsive and in the lower M range, but a solar flare nonetheless. It actually happened during the GO-16 daily data dropout, but just because it's not on every chart doesn't mean we can't show it to you. Interestingly, it was likely too small to push plasma anywhere but a bit south, but earlier in the day, watch the southern dark coronal hole changing shape. That's actually the release of a minor filament that caused a small CME, very minor event, but expected to give Earth a glancing blow over the weekend. Up first in the articles is the first of two discoveries on early galaxies. This one presents a new mystery to the scientific community. It's one that had been speculated to exist. Did the early galaxies somehow run out of gas in the tank? Yes, indeed they did. But why did they stop forming stars? They offer some guesses, but alas, it is a mystery. Now we'll get to the second deep space galaxy story in a moment, but we're staying with star formation here and stopping in our own galaxy. That 3D molecular cloud program we showed you just yesterday has been used to discover the star forming triggering power of long past supernova shells. It had blasted out a cavity in that area and the shockwave bubble is forming new stars on the perimeter as it expands through the surrounding medium. Up next, it's a 1-2 cosmology punch. The first is a challenge, challenge number 10 million for the Lambda Cold Dark Matter model. If you're new here, be not surprised at this challenge. The paradigm is dying. In fact, many have already replaced WIMP dark matter with axions, but those are literally repeating the 40 years of WIMP failure in the last two and a half years. Not going so well for axions either. And so now we can come back to the other deep galaxy story because it hits on cosmology. And veteran observers, it's been a while, hasn't it, since they went on a tear identifying all those deep space objects hiding in plain sight. We had said the dust was obscuring even more in our plasma cosmology movie and follow-up videos, and here they are. Well, some of them anyway. The discovery opens the gates for the field to begin sniping those cosmic relics at a furious pace. Now, last but not least, Folks, the three biggest quakes detected on Mars all happened recently, including a magnitude 4.2 that lasted over an hour. Mars seismicity has been increasing in magnitude and frequency, and they don't know why. But given the changes on Earth and the other planets, this is precisely what modern catastrophists have been expecting. It's part of a wide range of surprising changes across the solar system, which you can learn more about in our disaster series. Really gotta get the full story there. And for those who aren't new here, Mars destabilization continues. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.